Hello, my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a daily tarot reading or your daily tarot reading for Thursday, the 27th of January, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. And do keep in mind, per usual, this is a daily uh, read, general read for all 12 signs for the collective. So just take what resonates and don't stress over what doesn't. The overall message I received for the day a favorable outcome, a favorable outcome, all right? And I think I'm going to keep it at this angle for the entire uh, reading. So let me just attach my microphone, just one moment. This is what I do when I, um, when I aim on down. But we're going to pull one oracle card for each quarter of the day to begin from the spellcasting deck. And then maybe clarify each one with a small everyday tarot. And then we'll clear that away and pull a layered spread per usual. I like the way I've been doing it for the last few. So let's begin to do some shuffling. Fun, um, fun fact, I did actually find a free mirror uh, yesterday when I was coming back from the gym. So I'm just throwing it away. It's a pretty cool um, bluish gray antique square mirror with, with, um, with wooden design on the mirror itself. You know, it was free. It was like a little treasure hunt. So um, I have that hanging up right here. Anyways, moving on. So for my beautiful collective for the 27th of January for Thursday. We're going to pull them right from the middle. Okay. All right, so we're beginning the first quarter of this upcoming Thursday with reconciliation. There's also an underlining focus on our individual confidence when it comes to something specific. Our confidence in general as well, but uh, an underlining focus on our individual life purpose to a certain extent. Potentially getting answers in regards to that. Okay, I just heard clarification. So reconciliation. Let's see what we get for this as I put it right in front of my face. All right, what do we have for this first quarter? Six of Pentacles, gaining a uh, level of clarity on a reconciliation that's meant to happen moving forward. Um, that's meant to happen, excuse me, somebody, whether it's a friend, a past lover, somebody you don't have in your life anymore. I don't see it taking place in this first quarter of the day, but there's definitely a huge focus on it. Gaining a level of abundance in the form of clarity when it comes to them coming back into your life. Some of you will receive a message, but that's just for a select few, okay? Uh, being reminded that there is truly a favorable outcome for a win-win kind of uh, situation on the horizon for the two of you. Or if you felt that this person did you wrong and you're going to reconcile with them, you have a favorable outcome on the horizon. That's nice. And then we have beauty. Let's clarify this one. This part's meant to be kind of brief and quick, and then we'll clear it away and do the main part of the reading. Flipping out, we have the Page of Wands. A passionate, fresh addition when it comes to your beauty. You might find that somebody compliments you at this point and it allows for a sense of confidence to come back or just be enhanced. But either way, it feels like for some of us, we could be a little bit anxious at this point in the day to wrap up the first half, um, but feeling quite good looking for one reason or another. Um, it happens when you're feeling a little bit anxious, but feeling quite attractive. But I do feel like at the very least, this is representing a um, passionate situation, a passionate addition for a lot of you when it comes to your beauty, all right? Feeling very content and just uh, passionate about your looks, all right? A uh, sense of self-care taking place at this point in the day. A little bit bored though, potentially, with blessings uh, to make our way to begin the second half of the day. I just heard um, a blessing comes into play at this point in the day when it comes to a past heartbreak. And naturally, this is aligned with the reconciliation card, but we have death. With the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, it's this point in the day where Spirit and the Universe puts an end to you feeling like you don't have enough blessings in your situation, or an end to a blessing from the past that 
you stress over from time to time that didn't work out or just um, didn't go as far as you had wanted it to. In whatever form that ends up taking place, I do feel as if it is a part of the day where you're reminded that there is a huge blessing that you need to be focusing on at this time or, or will be coming into your situation moving forward, represented as this favorable outcome, all right, with manifestation to wrap up the day. Manifesting a level of success with something or with somebody. Seven of Cups, a lot of us manifesting to wrap up this Thursday. A multitude of options. If you've been looking for a relationship or somebody to move forward with, you're manifesting a lot of options, being aligned with a beauty card, attracting in a lot of people due to your looks, um, people feeling very attracted to you, whether that's online or just people seeing you walk down the street. There's something about your energy, your presence. You're manifesting a lot of options when it comes to work as well. If it's for your business, attracting a lot of people wanting to um, have you promote for them or just promote for you. Um, interesting or it could just be a job um, where your beauty comes into play moving forward some of you are manifesting a, a small side income that will be temporary but important until you get to the next step in your career um, but it feels like you're also manifesting a lot of options tied into your individual life purpose all right beautiful let's pull the main part of the reading Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm going to use the mermaid tarot for this part. Some shuffling. I just heard stay focused on your goals. Stay focused on your individual goals. And if you don't feel like there are significant goals to focus on at this time, you'll fi figure it out. Uh, it feels like towards the end of the day or just moving forward. But there is a reminder to stay focused on your goals throughout the day. Wheel of Fortune to begin. It's the Thursday where you see things progressing, where it feels like you're finally getting a handle on things, where you sense a, a bit of control coming into play for your situation, where you feel as if you're um, sailing your own ship, right, with this imagery. It uh, feels like um, a lot of us maybe had been feeling recently as if we've lacked that control over um, our future, our career, our finances. And you're given the sense of control at the very least at the beginning of the day, um, feeling as if there are new friendships coming into play moving forward, seeing a lot of us throughout this Thursday thinking about or reminiscing on reconnecting with one or multiple friends that um, are meant to be in our life moving forward, even if there's been a lot of distance. But you're being reminded that there's a lot of reasons to celebrate. All right. A lot of reasons to be happy about where you're at, even if it's not perfect. There is a favorable outcome once again, if not multiple throughout this day, where you could be feeling a little bit impatient. My leg is moving up and down. Um, but multiple favorable, favorable outcomes, excuse me, if not just one that you're being pushed to celebrate or just recognize in a lot of ways as a huge form of abundance. All right. Something you've been wanting or spirit in the universe recognizes you need more than you want. OK, um, there's somebody that's going to truly benefit you moving forward and they will just randomly come to mind throughout this Thursday. And um, that's a thought that was popped into your head. All right. By spirit. So do recognize that they will be somebody who will assist you, but you're going to assist them more than they help you. All right. Random. But the Page of Swords, learning more about your life purpose, about your goals that you want to achieve, or developing new ones once again. Um, learning more about how things are going to work in your favor moving forward when it comes to something you're working towards, or multiple situations that you want to acquire or sort of blend together. Interesting. So pull one more, we have the King of Pentacles. Thinking about a King of Pentacles you want to come into your life or just move forward with. And seeing a level of progression with that or being reminded of that progression after a certain achievement or a couple adjustments on both ends or just one of your uh, sides. Either way, if this isn't representing somebody you want to move forward with or just see progression with. This is your energy. Feeling very bold, very confident, feeling more grounded than you expect throughout this Thursday. And I feel like it's partially because you don't need to sweat the progression that's taking place or just the future of your money or your career. And even if you feel as if you do to a certain extent, 
something comes into play, you secure a new form of income or a new job, or you just see a level of uh, progression analytics or uh, something of the sort, uh, more clientele when it comes to what you've been trying to get off the ground. And it leaves you feeling more celebratory as if things are just working in your favor for once, or not for once for some of you, but just working in your favor. With the Knight of Pentacles, interesting. It's a day where things may feel as if they're going a little bit slowly. You might feel as if one thing's progressing and the wheel's turning in that sense, but it's moving just a little bit slower than you'd like. But do remember that we're still in Mercury retrograde. Not everything's meant to speed up. It's a time when you're meant to slow it down a little bit, to embrace the slow pace, the simplicity, to gather one's thoughts and go through a little bit of healing, to maybe recognize what you truly want and desire at this time. All right. But with the Queen of Pentacles, it does feel like you're pushed to get in touch with your feminine side, to stay grounded, even if you end the day with a situation that isn't perfect. All right. To remember that things are going to change moving forward. And it's a beautiful thing. Even if not everything feels quite clear or there feels like uh, there's some pieces missing. All right. With the Knight of Cups being pushed to go after what you desire, what will make you feel emotionally fulfilled regardless of what other people think. And that came out in the previous daily read for Wednesday. But it is a Thursday once again where you're pushed to recognize that things are working out for you. Things are about to fall into place and even are throughout this day, even if it feels a bit slow or just everything isn't perfect at this time. To do what's right for you at the end of the day, to trust in the process, to trust in what you're learning throughout this Thursday and understand that there is a favorable outcome or multiple on the horizon or in the midst for you at this time. All right. So if this reading was truly helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hoping you have the most amazing Thursday and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye.